Hey, what's going on, you lovely people? It's your boy, Roll of Queen. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are doing good. If this is your first time on the channel, please be sure to hit that like, hit that subscribe button, and turn on your notifications. Let's not waste any more time, and let's jump right in. So two weeks ago, I dropped a video talking about must-read black comic books, and a lot of you guys enjoyed that, so I figured let's run it back, but this time, let's show love to some dope woman-led titles that are currently out. Now, if you're one of those people that have an issue with the creative or an issue with a certain character, I don't care. You can waste your time commenting, but I'm not going to engage. I'm just going to laugh. So the first book you should check out is Birds of Prey by Kelly Thompson. And the art is by Leonardo Romero. I hope I got the name right. Now, this is Black Canary leading a majority new team of the Birds of Prey. And she's trying to find her sister, Sin, who is in Temescary because there is a huge threat coming and she has a role to play in it. Now, I got to say, this is a fun book. Like Kelly Thompson understands these characters. And I think the best written character out, out of the entire bunch right now happens to be Harley Quinn. Now, a little bit of a side tangent. I think this is the best Harley Quinn has been written in a while. No disrespect to Tini Howard, but if the Harley Quinn book ends up being relaunched, I'm going to say it right now. Kelly Thompson would be my number one pick. And the art has this nice retro style vibe, which works well with Kelly Thompson's writing. And one thing I really do enjoy is that this book is running alongside the DCU in a way that you don't have to check out the other titles, but you may be interested in the other titles. And it gives it that nice connective but genuine feel that DC has been missing for a while. Now, this book is three issues in, so it's still very early in the run. So please do your best to hunt down the floppies or go on Comixology and read them. Because I feel like this book right here, give it some time, it's going it's gonna to be a heavy hitter. Next book I'm talking about is Wonder Woman by Tom King and Daniel Sampier. Now, I have a previous video talking about how I got in trouble with this book, so I, I highly recommend you go check that out. But this is me legitimately recommending it. Now, if you're somebody that's been looking for Wonder Woman to get some proper shine, some proper respect, some proper love, I think this is for you. Now, I understand King's writing is not for everybody, but I think it's worth giving it a shot. This is a crazy new status quo for Wonder Woman and the Amazons. And I, I think you'll find something in there that you'll enjoy. And I think the art is beautiful. It's immaculate. It is porno in comic book form. Like that's the best way I could describe. I also believe that with time, this book is going to do some serious damage. The backups are setting up some pretty interesting things with the Super Sons and everything that's happening with the new character, Lizzie. So definitely go give this a go but 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 if you're one of those people no matter what you're not a tom king fan there's a book for you as well it's called amazon's attack now it's taking everything that's happening in wonder woman but seeing other characters deal with the fallout of that such as nubia yara mary marvel and a couple other folk you may have recognized from the previous wonder woman run now it's serious but it's also very easy to get into the character dynamics are great and honestly the art is fucking immaculate vasco georgiev i apologize if i mess up your name listen they need to put this motherfucker on like bigger books i'm talking justice league batman this art is crazy the colors fucking pop alongside the story being good the art is amazing as well so again if you don't care about the main wonder woman title but you are interested in what's happening in that world i guarantee you you will have a great time with this and i'll say this i think i might enjoy amazon's attack a little bit more than wonder woman but again both great titles the other book I do want to recommend is Power Girl by Leah Williams, and the artist is Eduardo Pansica. Again, I hope I don't get the name wrong. Now, I do recommend you check out the action comics backups that lead into this ongoing, but you don't really have to. The story is engaging. Superman comes in and gives Power Girl this mission that I think ties well with the other Superman books, and I think it ties very well into what's happening in the Dawn of DC. Now, you don't have to read those books, but if you do read them, you'll see what I am talking about. And again, I know Power Girl has been out of the spotlight for a while, but I think this is a good first step in, you know, 
building her stature back up, building her presence back up in the DCU. And I really do appreciate Eduardo Pansica's art. Like it gives it that raw, heavy hitting feel. Again, I think this book is going to do some damage also later down the line, but this is also about three issues in. So like I said before, please go out and try to hunt down the floppies or hunt down the issues on Comixology. Now, I'm going to give you guys the same spiel as the last video. People keep asking for diversity, especially when it comes to DC comic books. There's been this notion that, oh, it's Batman this, Batman that, DC is a boys club. Uh, you, you know what accounts I'm talking about on Twitter. But no, this is DC legitimately trying their best to put some diversity on the line. I think the creative teams behind all of these books are giving their best effort in building up these characters. So again, the creatives will appreciate it if you support them. The comic book shops would appreciate it if you support them. And you know, I would appreciate it if you support them as well. So again, I would love it if I'm doing the top 200 and I see all three of these books in the top 20 percentile within the top 50. That would be dope and it can happen. I believe Black Canary and the Birds of Prey, those characters alone have enough of a fan base for everybody to walk up to the comic book shop and buy themselves a copy. Wonder Woman, I know she got a crazy amount of fans. That's more than enough to go to the comic book shop and buy a copy. Same thing for Power Girl. A lot of people have been asking for Power Girl. So there's a lot of you guys that can show up to comic book shops and really boost up the numbers. Because again, I believe all of these books are well deserving of your time and your money. So again, if you want to see more of these characters, you want to see these books continue past six to 12 issues, this is your time to show up to the comic book shops. Now's the time, ladies, gentlemen, or people, whatever you go by. Listen, time is time to show up. I can't wait to see what the future holds for these titles. I'm very pleased with all three of them. Um, I got to say, and this isn't just me pandering, my, the women-led titles are more of my favorites right now than the male-centered titles. That's not to say the male-centered titles aren't good, but I think the women are really doing a good job dominating the line story-wise so this is a great time for combo books this is a great time for diversity and this is a great time for people to put their money where their mouths are because i know a lot of people have been asking for a good chunk of these characters to come back so let's show up y'all but thank you guys for checking out the content if you guys enjoyed it, please be sure to hit that like hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications and let me know what you guys think down below in the comments are you checking out any of these titles? What do you think about them? You know, are you on the fence? Why are you on the fence? I, I want to hear it down below in the comments. All right. Much love, much peace. It's your boy, Wolf Queen, and I'm out.